For those of you who have been lucky enough to not have to administer the MAP test, I'm going to show you what your responsibilities will be on that day as long as um, your team has discussed, uh, discussed it and set it up the way similar to how we have. We have all of the students divided up so that half of the kids are under Nick's username for MAP and half of them will be administered by me. And so all the students for all the students on our team, we will be starting and concluding their testing from our computers. For those of you who have red classrooms, we've divided the kids up by reds. Some teachers had two reds. For example, Tracy Best has two reds for seventh grade. So we assigned a, a free staff member to cover one of her classes. And all of that can be found on the spreadsheet that I shared along with this presentation. So my suggestion was that each team make a copy of this and everybody who is going to be administering this test to, you know, to your team of kids needs to have access to this one. So all you're going to do when the kids come into your room is put these directions up here and it tells them to begin their MAP test. This is what they have to do. And remember that all of these students have MAP tested before, even if they were in elementary school. I should say, not students necessarily who are move-ins. The most important thing for you to remember is that they're not going to log in with their school login. They have to log in with map at chardonschools.org and then the password is 12345678. I did try doing this on a student computer today and if you've noticed some computers automatically have that at chardon.us already filled in for them. According to Steve, as long as you just start typing map at chardonschools.org where the username is, this should work. Um, I will try it tomorrow with my uh, red class just to make sure, but um, according to Steve, this should be okay. So once they log in, and so this is what their screen's going to look like when they do their regular login, but instead of their username, they put map at chardonschools.org and then their password. The next page will bring them to this and it'll say join a session. And so this is when you want to put the next slide of your presentation up here. And however your team decides to do it, this is how Nick and I have it divided up. We split the kids in half. He has last names Adams through Lozinski. So those students will, will sign in with this test session name. And once we activate the test session or start it, Nick will fill in what the password is for those kids and we can't fill the password in until we start the actual test live. Students who have this last are in this um, range of last names will sign up with mine and we did math one was for math group one and math two was the second group and we'll do the same thing with the language arts it'll be 7b sept la1 and sept la2. So they will fill that test session in here and the password and click join Sometimes the kids accidentally click test warm up and if that should happen down at the bottom where the uh, chrome colorful icon is if you click on that um, you can open or you can see a second screen that's popped up um, and they just need to go back into the live session. So once they enter the test session name and the password that we give them and if students say it doesn't work then um, you might want to go around and check and make sure that they have the information entered correctly or you could enter it for them. Um, but once they've entered that, it will bring them to this screen. And so if they just start typing their first name, their name should automatically appear in the drop down menu as long as they are assigned to that teacher. If they start typing their name in here and nothing shows up, then that means that they're either signing into the wrong teacher or possibly that teacher does not have them um, signed into the test and those teachers are able to go back in and, and enter students once everybody else has started. So it'll be important for your team to have some means of communication whether you're texting each other or emailing each other just to notify your test administrators, your math and language arts teachers, if any students are absent or if any um, if there are any problems as you go. So they'll enter their name and then for math if they're in the the live session, it should appear once they start, um, once they click here, it should automatically appear. And then once they have it filled in, this button here will turn bright blue and they can click next. 
When they click Next, it's going to bring them to the screen that asks them if they are the, indeed the right person. It'll tell them their session name and student information. They just check to make sure that this is actually them. Click Yes, and it'll take them to this screen. And at this point, they have to wait for whoever the language arts or math teacher is to, to start their test. Um, we don't need to wait until every single student is logged in. So once I see that, you know, two or three kids are ready to test, I can actively um, start their tests. And then this screen will just automatically turn into the questions that they need to do. Um, one suggestion I have, if you're concerned about the amount of time that the kids are going to need to, um, to get logged on, it has been a while since we did map testing. It's summer. Um, summer vacation and everything. So um, what we'll be doing with our team is just doing a quick review of what they need to do, where they need to go after announcements, making sure all the kids know which test session or test room they're in because some of them are not necessarily going to be in their red classrooms. Um, they need to make sure that their Chromebooks are fully charged and I'm also telling them if their Chromebooks have been acting up. I have a lot of kids that say they plug them in at night and they came to school and they weren't charged. Then I suggest that they bring their charger um, so that they can still access it um, during class. And then obviously they need their independent reading book. Um, I will also on Monday probably just have the kids practice a live check-in where they would go into this screen and log in with the map at chardonschools.org. The test won't be active, so it's not going to hurt anything, but just to kind of give them that refresher that they're not logging into their own home or their own uh, account. Um, so hopefully this helps. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.